Hello and welcome to another Art for Wellbeing instructional video. Today I'm going to be using a mixed media technique to create a scarab beetle design onto a canvas. I've got a 40 by 40 centimetre Winsor & Newton canvas which I picked up quite cheaply from um, like an art and craft supply shop. Um, it's a quite th um, broad of a deep canvas this one so it's 38 millimeters deep and 40 by 40 um, approximately it's a 16 by 16 inches so um, it's a nice square canvas because I'm hoping to do like a circle on it and have my um, scarab beetle in the middle so I've taken some inspiration from these scarab ornaments that I had and I've also been looking at some images on the internet just to try and get a rough idea of what I want. Um, I don't want to. I want my um, design to be quite um, symmetrical, so I've decided to get a piece of paper and sort of hand draw half a scarab beetle onto my paper. So I should be able to transfer that design onto the canvas by scribbling over this and then doing the reverse to get my full symmetrical image on there. Um, if you're not very good at drawing or you're not confident in doing that you could always just print out an image off of um, the internet and perhaps use a similar technique to transfer it on. Right, so to get started, I'd like, I want to find the centre of my canvas. So I'm just going to get two rulers to each corner. Try and gauge roughly where the middle is going to be. So I'm just going to put a cross here. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Line up my two rulers. Mm -hmm. Roughly about there. So hopefully that's centre of my canvas. A quick look. Mm, it's not quite right, is it? Because that's 19 and a half, and that's. 20, so something's gone a bit astray there. But um, I won't worry too much because um, as long as the design fits in the middle, I'm not that worried. That's roughly the centre, perhaps, perhaps about there. Right, okay, so I'm going to put my scarab beetle kind of in the middle. Hopefully that's in the middle. Sometimes you need to sort of stand up and have a proper look of where you want it. So I think I'm going to put, do it about there. So I'm going to open my, turn my page. I've used quite a blunt sort of a 4B pencil to go over my outline. So hopefully when I turn it over and use a harder pencil to rub over it. It should hopefully transfer the lines onto the canvas. So I'll quickly do that and then I'll do the next stage. Right, so I've done one half. You might just be able to see it faintly here. Um, I can always go over it just to see, see it a bit more in definition. Hopefully 
but you can see it a bit better as I'm going over it. So now I've got some pencil on the back where I've just been using it to rub. Now I'm going to try and line that up with the other side. So I get the other half of my beetle. Quite nicely there. So kind of just about to see through the paper. I suppose you could use tracing paper if. Better. It probably would be better actually thinking about it, but I don't have any tracing paper today, so I won't worry too much. Right, so I'll now go over this side again, so hopefully it will transfer. Just give me a guideline where I can draw on the canvas. I'm quite happy with that design on there so the next stage is to decide what to do with it looking at it like this I'm thinking maybe I might put a circle around it now so I've got a plate here I'm just going to wonder whether that's going to be good enough or whether I'll have to get a compass but I thought if I kind of measure it Central, hopefully. Let's about. So move up a little. I think that's probably about centre. So I'm just going to go for it and draw around it and hope for the best. design. <clears throat> I can now decide um, how I'm going to proceed. So because I want to use string to outline my beetle, 
and I'm going to use tissue paper to sort of laminate over it so it gives like a raised outline which I quite like so I'm just going to try to find the end of this string so this is quite a thicker string and then I've also got a, a finer string so it's just your normal cotton twiny sort of string you can find anywhere so I'm just going to do a little play and see what I fancy doing often as you plan artwork it kind of evolves as you do it so you might have an idea of what you want to do but by the end you might have completely changed changed your mind so that doesn't matter really it's all good fun so I might leave the circle for now because I might decide I don't like it later so I might just start with the the body of the the beetle Right, so let's move some of these things. So I'm going to use some um, PVA glue. It's just very basic um, white glue for arts and crafts. You can use children's glue or any kind of glue from the, the art shop. There's not much left in this one, so I might actually just use it cut that off and use use what's in there right so I've got my glue and I've added a little bit of water in there so it's roughly three parts glue to one part water just to make it a bit more runny so it's quite runny mix it properly So start with, I'm just going to go around the beetle shell, just with a bit of glue, just to dampen it a bit. Just going to cut that little bit off the end. Right, so I'm going to start by just laying the string on there just to get the basic shape. I'll go around that bit there. So don't cut your string until you have to. There you go. Right. So I'm just using my Pencil guide is a guideline, so it doesn't have doesn't matter if it goes slightly over it or I might decide that leg looks a bit wonky and I'm going to change the shape. Doesn't matter. So okay, so put that there. Do the other pit. You can move it with a brush and that helps. Just trying to do this to get a straight line because it's a bit wants to sort of bend, so I'll speed the next bit up. Right, 
that's the body finish so I'm going to carry on and do the legs I'm going to use this thinner twine this time pretty much the same technique The string doesn't really want to go around the pointed parts of the leg, so I've decided to cut small little bits and join them up like that. So hopefully that will work and look a bit more how I want it to.
Right, I'm quite happy with that, so I'm going to leave that to dry and I'll come back and show you the next next stage. Thanks for watching.